Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. This video is about WebGL tutorial. Today's topic will be interactive drawing with dragging effect. Here we have a canvas. To draw, we click and hold the mouse down. And when we release, we see a rectangle. So we do see the transitional dragging effect. The example in this video does assume that you have some basic understanding of WebGL script structure. If not, uh, please uh, go back and watch my early video, especially the uh, 2D bouncing ball, which a lot of code in this uh, 2D bouncing ball had been reused here. Also, regarding the uh, mouse activity, like click and drag, uh, if you have some prior to HTML5 canvas uh, drawing experience, that might help you a lot. This is lesson number one. Hopefully you're familiar with this code uh, by watching early, early video. Here's a vertex a code. Here we activate the WebGL. Here we create the program and here we link the variable from shader variable to javascript variable here we create a buffer of data this is something new in this uh, tutorial the uh, mouse down and mouse up This is the initiator. It's very typical program that which you can put into the common library. So what is this script doing? You can see that when I click down and hold, when I release it, and I got rectangle, but I don't see any transition effect. I click down, I hold it, I drag, I get rectangle. Let's look at the script more closely. Here we have a canvas. Uh, here we have the vertex code. These two lines here in the vertex code uh, basically translate the canvas coordinate, which can be 100, 200, whatever the canvas size, into the WebGL coordinate, uh, which range from minus 1 to 1. So it automatically changed from canvas size to the WebGL size. So when we click down here, we have the uh, canvas coordinate and this command here in the vertex convert into the WebGL coordinate. In the uh, fragment uh, code here, basically we have a variable called color. So we every time we click, we got the new color for the rectangle okay on this script I just changed um, this file line here I put in a function called init buffer and this is very typical uh, function in WebGL so here is the function of init buffer so basically, it link the attribute to a particular buffer. So I replace on this command here like that into this command. Uh, this uh, command here are the gut of this uh, example. Here we have uh, the mouse interaction on mouse down and on mouse up, and we call function ev down and ev up. For ev down, basically we just want to remember the uh, the the one corner of the rectangle, 
and EV up we uh, basically uh, get the other corner of the rectangle and we also start drawing the rectangle in function EV down we remember one corner of a rectangle in function EV up we remember the other corner of the rectangle and we shape into a vertex here we shape as four vertex the reason is that uh, we are going to use triangle strip to draw the rectangle so the numbers in point is x1 y1 and x2 y2 the other two uh, you can mix around and we shape into the array shape on the same token we put the random color on the array color so we can so each rectangle has its own color here is a function that we uh, draw um, we dump the data into the buffer the data is on the uh, array shape here for the color we use a uniform because uh, the color apply for on vertex uh, in that uh, rectangle and we start drawing for now we just detect the mouse down and mouse up to draw the rectangle mouse down and mouse up mouse down mouse up now if we want to see some dragging effect we want to detect the mouse move here I comment it out for now I can copy now let's say I can just want to change it EV up to EV move and save it see what happened refresh it I still have rectangle but you can see that instead of create one rectangle I have a lot of rectangle uh, what caused this problem? well uh, WebGL operate as in intermediate mode not retain mode which means that uh, we draw and we forget now I can add a function in here to delete uh, the rectangle out but it will delete everything so you don't see any rectangle left at all so what is a solution well the solution uh, one solution that we are gonna do in this example basically we gonna create uh, a shadow canvas so we have the main canvas and we have a shadow canvas the shadow canvas is create a temporary shape rectangle then after we release the mouse the uh, main canvas gonna draw the shape okay so this one is drawn by the shadow canvas after we release it the main canvas uh, we draw the final shape so in the example we will use the canvas uh, 2d context to draw this temporary rectangle and the final rectangle will be drawn by WebGL so to see the dragging effect uh, we're gonna use a second canvas as a shadow canvas to draw a temporary uh, rectangle I have mentioned earlier about WebGL work as in immediate mode versus retain the mode. In retain the mode, where you have an object which you can recall or reaccess for any operation later on, but in immediate mode, you draw and forget. To remember what you draw, you have to save into the array of some kind of memory. Then 
you call that memory up to redraw. So you have to do that uh, uh, function uh, yourself. But in retainer mode, you have an object which can be recalled. Here is the final script. In this script, I use two canvas. One for WebGL, the other one for dummy for draw temporary rectangle. And I use position absolute to overlay uh, one canvas over the other canvas. In the function draw, here I call the uh, dummy canvas out with the 2D context. Okay, on small now, I create a variable called start true. Uh, when this start is true, mean that I start drawing the rectangle, temporary rectangle. Okay, uh, on the on the EV down, we remember the uh, one uh, corner of the rectangle on EV move. We got the other corner of the rectangle. Now, this equation for uh, I calculate uh, x and y width and height. The reason in canvas uh, drawing it uh, draw by x and y width and height, not x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have to calculate the uh, width and height. This equation, uh, canvas width equal canvas, basically I clear the canvas. So if not, then I can see a lot of transition uh, rectangle. On the EV app, uh, the only thing I add is stack force. Basically, I stop the drawing and I clear the canvas, the dummy canvas. Okay, I just change this command canvas to width equal canvas to width into a more explicit uh, to clear the canvas. This command to clear uh, the canvas. So now, if you wanna, let's say we don't put in here. We're gonna see a lot of shape, okay, when we move. So I'll do a refresh. See that? A lot of shape. I guess for this uh, example, it does not matter. Again, here's a final script. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down slowly so you can see. Thank you for watching the video, see you next time.